Good morning logging railroaders. Today I have a new video from my 2 inch scale logging railroad Moody Lumber Company. Since I've posted several videos from my running logging trains, I decided to spend some special attention to the steps before the trains are running. As on real steam and logging railroads, the day starts early in the morning when the engine crews start to prepare the loco in the engine shed for today's work. Before the fire is lighted, there are several preparatory works to be done which are shown here in a shortened overview. I start with filling the steam oil lubricator for the cylinders. The lubricator will pump the oil into the steam pipe just above the steam engine. The oil will be transported by steam into the cylinders and lubricate the pistons. Next, all moving parts of the steam engine are oiled and the oil pots at the crankshaft bearings are filled. At each truck, some grease is given to the bevel gears and all stressed bearings of the drive shaft get a drop of oil. This is also the right time to check the drive shaft, universal and slip joints. Especially on the universal joints, loose screws are identified and tightened if necessary. After checking the firebox and grate, the ash pan is attached. The air flap is fully opened to ensure good airflow during the steam up phase. While the boiler water level was too low, I topped up the boiler water by using the blowdown valve. The water level should be on half gauge level. The water tender will also be filled to provide a full tank when starting the first trip. The last step before lighting the fire is to remove the diamond stack and install the blower fan. More on this later. The 
To light the fire, I use regular barbecue lighter and charcoal. On real steam locos, the natural draft through the stack will work fine to get the fire burning. But on the smaller model, the blower fan will supply the needed draft to keep the fire going. When the first charcoal is burning, the firebox is filled in alternating layers of charcoal and hard coal. Once the loco is going into service, the fire will be fed with hard coal only. The charcoal is needed to start a hard coal burning, which has more heat to boil the water during service. Once the fire is burning well, the steam valves on the manifold are closed. They had been opened when the loco was set aside to prevent the valves from jamming. When the boiler is filled, air can run through the open valves as well. The second from left valve is the shut valve for the steam brake. This valve stays open to provide steam to the brake system once the boiler raises steam. To reduce the smoke inside the engine shed, the loco is rolled outside. It's also time to top up the coal bunker, as the steam up process has reduced the coal stock halfway down. Once the boiler pressure reaches 30 psi, the blower fan is no longer needed. From now onwards, the internal blower of the steam loco will be used. The blower blows steam through the stack, which will create a vacuum draft that keeps the fire going. Through all the time, the fire is checked regularly and coal is feeded as needed. Some while later, steam pressure climbed up to 60 psi. While the cylinders are still cold, there is some condensed water inside, which has to be blown out via the drain cock. On the fireman's side, the injector is also checked for proper function. The injector is used to feed water from the tender tank to the boiler and is only working with steam. If there is any issue with the injector, it has to be fixed immediately to prevent the boiler from damage due to low water level. In case the injector issue can't be solved, the loco has to go out of service for repairs. With shutting the air flap at the ash pan, the steam up process is completed and the shea is now ready for service.
At the stacking yard of the main station, a loaded lock train is waiting for the ride down to the sawmill. Before the train departs, the fire and water level are checked and topped up as needed. Usually, the steamer process takes up to 30 minutes from cold to ready to run. All scenes shown in this video are taken on the great 5-inch gauge railroad at Zurich in Switzerland. I'll show you some more of this layout in another video. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some impression of what it means to operate a live steam loco in 2-inch scale. Your feedback is welcome. Don't forget to check my blog at waldbeiner.de for more details about my model logging railroads.